big part of kind of building that party. What tips do you have for couples when they're actually picking the music for their reception? I mean, we definitely always ask for input from the couple on, on the songs they have to hear, their must play songs. Um, and they do that online. They yeah. There's an actual online planner that's, that they that's can really nice. So, yeah, so 15 to 20 songs is great from them. But also leaving us some flexibility to kind of read the crowd and see what everybody's vibing on to keep the party going. Um, and leaving us with some flexibility is definitely great. And, and trusting us to make those decisions the night of. It's really almost critical because, you know, in the consultations, just like he says, you know, we'll say that to them. 15, 20 songs would be great. Five or six, you know, I'll kill you if I hear this at my reception. Like, right. I almost want to see those first. Right. Those right. Yeah, I want those do not plays, like, immediately. Like, I, I need to know those quickly. And then I can kind of, I, I want them to give us that autonomy to fill in the blanks. So I don't want them to pick three out. Like, there was a three-plus-hour dance set on Saturday night. I mean, that reception went to 12.30. I haven't played a reception until 12.30 in yeah. 10 years. But awesome. it was three plus hours of dancing and she picked a ton of music, but I still was able to insert things that I knew were going to go over into that into that set. And if some of their favorite songs are not necessarily songs that you can dance to, make sure to tell us those, but maybe we'll say we'll put those during dinner to just slip some of those in. Exactly, so exactly. Dance. There's so many opportunities to play these non-danceful artists or songs yeah. you know they could have heard them during the prelude at the ceremony That's you could play session. them if they made the cocktail hour we could have played them at the cocktail hour dinner they're going to be sitting there the whole time like any of these kind of jack johnson or james taylor or buble or like all that stuff is great music but it's not necessarily danceable right so or any of these artists that people you like, love 90s all rock right 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 that, so we can so figure that out yeah. like they have a place at your reception just not necessarily from, you know, 9 to 11 dance break. Yeah. Right. And like you said, you have cocktail hour and dinner, so that's almost sure. full two hours of that kind of fun, you yeah, know, yeah. music that you like that you can... Of course, and in. I think it makes the guests realize, oh, the couple has taken the time to meet with this guy. Yeah. You know, they hear Radiohead. No DJ would play Radiohead. Right. So they must have talked to Brandon, yeah. and talked to Joe, and said, you know, we really love this band. Make sure that there's some songs played in this part of the night yeah. by this band. Couples tell us all the time, you know, you know their personality. I'm like, yeah, we talk about yeah, that. Yeah. Don't what they were right. like. We're, we <laughs> actually <laughs> met with them. <laughs> I think that makes a huge difference though because the yeah. music does tell such a story about their personality. Yeah. So I think that's great. And so, I mean, you said, you know, 10, 12 songs is a good amount. Like how involved should a couple be in like picking those songs that you guys are gonna play throughout the night? And where do you think the too involved line gets? Um, I mean, two, like, you got to kind of keep in mind that we're going to play two to three minutes per song and, and how long the actual event's going to be when they're picking songs. But, I mean, definitely tell us your ten favorite songs that you love to dance to, whatever they are. We want to know those. And, and then give us some artists that you like. And um, it's, it's definitely key to have those going into it. So we're not guessing from the get-go. Um, I mean, you know, here's the thing. They know their guests and their friends and their family more than you do. Yeah. You don't know anybody other than the bride and groom. Right. Right. It's very rare, even in Raleigh, to show up to an event and, and somebody walk up to me and say, Hey, Joe. I mean, that, you know, you think Raleigh is a small city, but it's very rare for me to play a 150-person wedding and know anybody there. Wow. So they know their crowd, though. They know what was the, the big song spring break of their college year. They know the song that you know, they danced to in Jamaica when they got engaged or whatever. Like, what are their parents, parents favorite song to slow dance to? Right. Right. Uh, what did their parents dance to on their first dance when they got married? Like, th those things you'll never be able to know if you don't give people, you know, this, this portal on our website to be able to put songs in. And I think that's such an important part. Especially with a song that you know is <clears throat> a typical wedding song. Perfect. Um, that we might not, we're not going to play naturally. Let us know. We don't know what you guys party to in your dorm rooms. Yeah. There's this talking head song. Uh, it might be a place or something yeah, like that. Like that's, I, it's not a go-to, but I've had it on much play at least too. four or five times. Really? When I play it, people go nuts. And I Me don't too. know this song. I don't get it. <laughs> it was never big even back when they were big. Like, so I lived through that decade and yeah. it was not a big song. Like I, don't I played this past game, weekend, everybody went nuts no. singing along. It's just a yeah. section that I miss somehow, but yeah, like you stuff just, like that. You just never know. Just no, know. Yeah. you yeah. never have a clue until they actually throw that stuff out there because otherwise you're not going to pull that talking head song. Right. right. 
What about the big moments? So obviously I think most people pick their first dance song, usually their parent dance songs. What about the other big things like cake cutting and introductions or last dance? Do you think it's important that people give input in that? Or is that something that you think is sometimes better left to professionals like you guys? Yeah, we always have suggestions on things that we've seen that works or um, Joe and Andy put together these unique cake cutting uh, videos that we throw up occasionally. Um, but yeah, we love to have input on that, and that's a good spot to throw one of those songs that's not danceable necessarily, it kind of fits the moment, um, but it's not necessary, they, they don't have to give us a song for all those moments. I mean, really, you don't have to give anything. I mean, I, I need the planner. I need to know the agenda and yeah. what comes after what. I've had plenty of couples say, we're just not, this isn't our thing, we're not going to fill out the music planner, we saw you at Susie Smith's wedding, do what you did there. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I mean, I would love to have that input, right. but if they're not gonna do it, I'm not gonna force them. Yeah. As long as I've got the agenda and I know the major moments, like what is the what is your first dance? What are your parent dances? Anything else, even the introduction song. I picked the cake song this past weekend. I did, I did too. Yeah. Uh, I picked <laughs> the cake cutting song this past yeah. weekend. You know, those things are not nearly as important as, as first dance. Um, mother, son, father, daughter, and even ceremony music to me is imperative that they pick it and not only pick it but send us the link to the right version. Yeah. Oh, that's a really great. Because there are ninety-five thousand versions yeah. of Pain and D. <laughs> there's an organ. There's a trumpet. There's a you know there's a old, piano. There's old standards. Have I can't. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they have to pick the ceremony music. I can't do that. Yeah. It's too personal. And it's too, there's too many versions of these songs. Yeah. So send us the Spotify link and then we'll, we'll manufacture that. Do they need to provide you with music for the prelude too? Or is that something you guys feel like is less important than those kind of big... I mean, if they give us like genre... I, yeah, yeah exactly. all I need is a vibe for that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if they, if they like that vitamin strings, you know, quartet stuff, the covers of the, of the pop songs, I'm okay with that. If they like more Beatles, I'm okay with that. Or acoustic, I'm like, I've got six different pre pre prelude playlists, that's hard to say. It is. Um, <laughs> Tongue twister. Yeah. And usually one of those will work. Yeah. It's very rare that somebody is that specific. But those those moments, like seating the parents, mm -hmm. bridesmaids, groomsmen, bride, you know, the processional, the recessional, please don't ask me to pick that. It's, <laughs> yeah. too, it's a lot of pressure. It's too personal. <laughs> too personal.